how's it going everyone? Today, we're going to be talking about the latest Dodge Demon news. So much new information has been released. Will the Dodge Demon go a quarter mile in ten and a half seconds? And what do these mysterious numbers mean? Well, in this video, I'm going to be fully analyzing each of the new Dodge Demon videos. And I also have some very exciting news to share with you. Dodge has invited me to see the Demon in New York City. Ten people were selected to see the event, and I was one of the lucky ones they invited. I'll give you more details later in the video. But first, let's take a look at the latest Dodge Demon videos. So at the beginning of the video, we see a close-up of the Demon's suspension. We then hear the supercharger whine, and the demon takes off. And at the end of the video, we see this mysterious photo. And that's all we see. But what exactly does it mean? Well, first let's look at those shocks. What you're seeing is the first ever factory suspension designed specifically for drag racing. This was achieved by increasing the compression in the rear shocks and by installing quick reacting springs along with some soft front shocks. By designing the suspension this way, the car will launch incredibly well. So not only does the Demon have drag radial tires, but it also has a suspension dedicated to drag racing. But there's something in this video that has people stumped. It's these mysterious numbers that appear on the drag strip. The numbers are 13 and a half equals 575 at 500. No one is quite sure what this means, but there are some theories. One theory is that when the supercharger gives 13.5 pounds of boost, the car will make 575 pound foot of torque at 500 RPM. Another theory is that 575 is how much horsepower the Demon will make when using the black key. And for those of you who don't know, the Demon will most likely come with two keys, one black and one red. The black key restricts the power output of the car, while the red key unleashes all the power from the car. I'd like to hear what you guys think this means. It was obviously put there for a reason, but only time will tell what it actually means. So the suspension has been designed to work well on the drag strip, but what else has been specifically designed for the drag strip? <laughs> In this next video, we see a man at the drag strip about ready to launch his demon. The lights change, and he takes off. We then see a differential housing, the underbody of the car, and a drive shaft. The man continues to drive his demon as fast as he can. We then see a half shaft and a demon logoed harness bar. The video then ends by showing us the parts put together. And that's the entire video. But what does it mean? Well, let's go back to the beginning of the video. The reason this man took off so well is because the Demon is equipped with launch assist. One of the hardest parts of getting a good launch is dealing with wheel hop. Wheel hop happens when the tires quickly slip and then regain traction while at launch. This is very hard on your car and it can cause damage to the driveline. But Dodge has got you covered. Not only has the driveline been designed to handle a large torque capacity, the car also comes with launch assist. This means that if the tires start to slip, the Demon's control module will momentarily reduce engine torque to maximize the traction. With launch assist and those drag radial tires, this car is going to be unstoppable. But let's not forget about the last part of the video. A company known as Speed Logix will be making a four-point harness bar to be used at the track. Dodge says that this harness bar will be easy to install. All of the mounting points will be accessible, and customers won't have to make modifications to make the harness bar fit. Another sure sign that Dodge is in it to win it. Now if only we knew how much power this demon's going to make. Well, hold on to your hats, folks. This new video shows us how much power the Demon will make. The driver taps the dyno tab and begins to accelerate. The two graphs that you see are the horsepower and the RPM. The car continues to accelerate, but then the screen gets distorted. It then cuts to the wheel spinning and shows us the speed going faster and faster. Why can't we go back in the Demon? I want to see that power chart. The car comes to a stop, but the power chart is not on the screen. All we see is the coolant temperature slowly going down. But that's not the end of the video. In the last five seconds, multiple performance pages show up on the screen. But they went by so fast, you may not have noticed this one little detail. Wait for it. There, do you see it? It's the dyno chart that got chopped out in the video, and these are the results. Now, if we look closely, we can see that the peak horsepower was around 750. And wouldn't you know it, look at the top of the screen. The time is 757, which happens to be the same number we saw on the Demon's Crate. 
We'll talk more about the crate in a minute. Now Dodge has said that everything in these videos means something and that nothing is done by mistake. So I think it's safe to say that based off of this chart, the Demon will make 757 rear wheel horsepower. And it looks like the torque will be close to 750 as well. Now there's a couple other things I'd like to point out. The very first page shows us that the Demon's 0 to 60 time will be 3 seconds flat. And on the next page, we see the quarter mile time is 10 and a half seconds. That is really good. I think what's most impressive about this is that the Demon can be customized based off of your driving preferences. And it'll be nice having access to that real time data. Now let's talk about the Dodge Demon crate. A while back, I showed you guys a video about the Demon's crate, but we didn't know what was all inside. As it turns out, all the tools are going to be custom made by Snap-on, and they're all going to feature the Demon logo. The tools included are a cordless impact driver, a torque wrench, hydraulic lift, and a tire pressure gauge. They also include this nice carrying bag and fender cover to protect the paint while you're working under the hood. Now there are some other parts in the crate, but Dodge hasn't told us what those other parts are. What we do know is that there will be some factory Demon wheels included, and Dodge says that the rest of the items will be a part of the Demon Track pack system. So we're just gonna have to wait and see what those other parts are. Now there's one more thing I'd like to share with you. This past Monday, Dodge invited me to come to New York City and see the Demon revealed. Just 10 people were invited and I was one of the lucky ones they chose. After I provided them my email, I got the official invitation and guys, I can't tell you how excited I am. This is going to be amazing. The 10 fans will get a behind the scenes look at the Challenger and will also get to meet with the SRT team members. So essentially, it's a VIP event that I get to be a part of and I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos because without your support, none of this would have been possible. Now this isn't happening until April 11th, but you can guarantee that I'll make a video documenting my experience so that I can share it with you guys. Again, thanks so much for all your support, and I'll see you guys real soon. <laughs>